Khan. But uh, first, let's hear what your friend and mentor, the celebrated Russian cellist Mitslav Rostropovich, said about you. Uh, unfortunately, he couldn't be with us today, but Elaine talked to him earlier this week and asked him where he first heard you play. Uh, you know, first, that's my very dearest friends tell me about him and tell me that's something very, very special. And I invited him to Washington to play his national orchestra. And he arrived first to New York. I arrived and play in rehearsal. First time I hear him just in rehearsal, but rehearsal without orchestra only he played for me. Third Rachmaninoff. Uh, <laughs> and uh, he would like play third Rachmaninoff concerto. He li like very much this composition. I'm a little bit worried, of course, because that's 13 years old to play uh, Rachmaninoff first concerto. That's real, something very exceptional. I ask him maybe something, another concerto. No, I would like first Rachmaninoff. Yes, I accept. I accept. And uh, in rehearsal, he played for me, and I consider that's what my friend tell me. That's a real miracle. A that's miracle? That miracle, yes. That's only one word, that miracle. No, what do you mean when you say a miracle technique? Alone? No, you know that's that's all. That's that's from God. Everything's from God. Um, you know he has very big, thirteen years old, very big hand. He has no difficulties for me. That's also for thirteen years old, very, very rare. He has every all possibility, technical possibility, but that's not all. He is the real musician. That's a miracle. In 13 years, he has enormous big repertoire. He plays practically all piano repertoire with orchestra. He knows music enormously. And I think that's if you ask me that uh, he played piano 13 years old, if he has 50 years old, or 70 years old, even 90 years old. <laughs> that's why I must tell you, that's great pianist. But it that's seems not to me... matter how, how old he is. Not matter. But what about the matter of interpretation, which requires a kind of that's emotional it. wisdom? How can any young person have that? No, that's of course not any. That's, you know, that's some people that's created this feeling during the first five, six, ten years, that's, uh, but he has no time created his emotional. He already have this. He was born this, with born that? Born with this, yes. I Did, think so. No, you yourself were a prodigy. You started... No, 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 I am not a prodigy. I, I began playing piano four years old, but that's my, my family was musicians. My father was cellist, my mother a pianist. And that's why I'm always in the music. And my father no pushed me absolutely. And that's very important also for Dimitris, because Dimitris, that's a real young boy in another side. That's great musician, great pianist, very serious. But if he coming out from piano, he's still boy. He like my dog, Pooks. And he just, uh, during my rehearsal in my suite, he always, in one eye, see what happens with my dog. And he likes to play her, so immediately jump to my <laughs> dog and play with, with him. No, that's a miracle, you know, that's... Mm. But wh where can you draw the line between nourishing, encouraging this talent that you call a miracle and pushing it too hard? No, you know, I think that uh, this kind of talent have inside this talent a real very power jet. On that jet, that motor, if you like, you know, that uh, power inside. And this power take it himself to the progress. Because such talent, well, like a Mozart, you know, who pushed Mozart? Nobody, Mozart is Mozart. But he what about the very pressure of public performances? Uh, you know, that's... Uh, he understand what it means success. He understand, and because uh, and that's not bad, uh, because he play for public, he play for listener, and 
of course, uh, a reaction from listener that's very important for him, for Dimitris, like for um, any artist. And of course, if I don't know what happens with him, if he has some disappointment from, from uh, critics or not enough great success for public, I don't know what happens with him. But I know if he disappointed after bad critics or after less success, I am sure that only for a small period he recovers immediately. Well, if you were in complete charge of Dmitri's career over, he's just 13 now, yes. so say for the next... 14, I think, now, you know, no, 13 maybe, I don't know. Over the next 10 years, yes. how would you, almost as if he was an athlete, how would you pace him? You know, I think that's, uh, that's for him now, for his future, important. Have around him good friends, good musicians, great musicians. Now for him important, make contact with such musicians like uh, Rudolf Serkin, with such musicians uh, as Yehudi Menuhin, Isaac Stern. That's in this level. If he have such friends in music, that he immediately take it all best from each of performers, of each great musicians. But that's important. That I know, for example, sometimes I developed my uh, musical uh, musical quality very quick, and I have stopped. I self I, I understand this. Excuse my English so bad. But um, I just stopped with my progress, with my develop. And who helped for me enormously in this moment? Prokofiev, composer. Because I was his young friend. And Prokofiev opened for me just another side of music, very human side of music. And that's enormous important work was for me. And I think maybe if Dimitris have in future some difficulties for his development, I think that he must have near to him great musicians. That's all. Someone like you, Maestro. Oh, no, I not tell about me. I tell. I mention another name, much greater than I. Thank you very much for joining us today. Thank you very much. Well, Dimitri, um, Mr. Rostropovich said some wonderful things about you there. He's a marvelous man. I'm sure you feel that, don't you? He is. And um, I am very happy, I'm so happy that uh, we have so good cooperation with him. We love, you know, each other, and uh, I feel very happy that I met him in my life. He said you were a human jet. <laughs> How do you feel about that? I don't believe it. Don't you? No, and I, I want to thank him from all my heart for that wonderful things he said about me. Well, he obviously does feel very highly about you, but tell me about your music. I mean, have you a musical background in your family? No, never. Your parents weren't particularly interested in music? My mother played a little bit the piano for some lessons. Uh, so, uh, you know, when I was very young, I, I loved music very much. Uh, I was listening to the radio and uh, I was dancing when I wanted. And so when I was about seven years old, my mother asked me if I'd like to have some lessons at the piano with her teacher. And I said yes. So I began. And after I've done one, one year at home and after I went at the Athens Conservatory, where I studied with uh, Maria Herogiorgou Sigara, that she's the best soloist in Greece, and I finished with her last June with uh, the diploma of professor and solist of the Athens Conservatory. After Dimitri, the, was, it, was it in fact the piano always for you? Was it always the piano you wanted to play? Of course, yes. No um, other instrument? No. Why do you think that was? I don't know, because we have the piano at home. So you feel very much that if, if young people have piano and instruments around them, that encourages them, do you? It depends. I mean, your brother, does he play anything? He started the violin this year. But, uh, yes. Does he like it? Yes, not so much. He doesn't want to be a musician. He doesn't? No. You, you do, obviously. I mean, have you any thoughts about anything else? Or does it take up a lot of your life? No, I like also mathematics and physics and chemistry and uh, swimming and bicycle on my free times because um, they're important. <laughs> And not only they're important, I love them and I like them to do. 
Do you find that you have to practice a lot of the time, and does that stop you doing some of the other things that you perhaps like? You know, I would like to practice. Uh, when I say practice, I, I would like to have so much time to play uh, lots of things of the piano repertoire in one day, but uh, I can't do that because of the school lessons. Mm -hmm. I go in a Roman school in Piraeus.